Hi, it's Miriam, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a weight belt for your hips to practice. And this is um, a lot thicker than a normal one, but I'm gonna post there the measurements so that you can uh, pick what you want to do. If you are a beginner, like if you're just starting to wear this belt, I recommend you use a smaller one uh, because it might be too much weight at once. And then as you progress, then maybe you wanna change into a thicker one like the one I just showed you, um, which basically just adds more weight, right? So first you're gonna cut like a long stripe like this with any fabric. It doesn't matter because it, your fabric is gonna be, I mean, you want it to be strong, but the sand is not gonna go directly on the fabric. It's gonna go on, on some sandbags, so it's gonna be protected. So I will give you the measurements there on the screen on how to do this uh, according to your size of hips. And I'll give you two measurements for this. One for the beginner belt, which will be a little um, more narrow, and then this one that is wider, so that it's heavier. Okay, now I filmed this video back in the winter and I forgot the first part, so I'm just gonna tell you right now. Once you cut the whole length of this, once you cut it, uh, the measure that I will give you, you are going to flip this. If it has a print, you're gonna flip it backwards like this so that the um, wrong side is outside. If it's just a fabric of one color, it doesn't matter. Just fold it in two. And what you're going to do here is to sew all along this, all along. So just sewing all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way until here, okay? Like all the way out. So basically you are closing this side, on this side, let's see that. So that's what you wanna do. You're gonna close it and then you're gonna flip it inside out. Cause since you were sewing, like as I told you, the wrong side out, if it doesn't matter, you still have to flip it out cause otherwise you're gonna get your, uh, your sewing the ugly part here. So we wanna hide that so that it looks clean. So once it's sewn all the way, then you're gonna flip it inside out, like push it all the way like this, once it's sewn, right? All the way, all the way, all the way. So that it's now on the right side. And then from there, I think that's it, that it continues all the videos that I did back in the winter. But if you have any questions, just post in the comments and I'll, be, I'll make sure to answer them back to you, okay? <laughs> okay, so now that you're done with this, you end it up, don't sew it the both sides, obviously, because you gotta put your, you gotta leave this open to put your sandbag inside, okay? So now, flip it inside out. Carefully, just keep pushing it all the way. You're just flipping it up, okay? Just push it in, push it in, push it in. Yeah, all the way. And um, let it go out. Okay, once you flip it all over, make sure that you go all the way to the end and really make this uh, corners, like go to the corner. So you can even stick a pen if you want to, because you gotta push them all the way out, right? You have to push these corners all the way completely out, because this is gonna be the end of your, of your belt. Okay, so once you pull all this uh, corners out, what you're going to do is to sew a line across here, just to reinforce it, right? I'm gonna show you this one that I 
did already. So you want to sew an, a thing on the end here, right? Once you already turn it inside out. And then you're going to do eight, in, seven inches from here to here to sew this part because this is what is going to hold the sandbags from going all the way to the end because you need this part to tie, to tie it around, right? So this is your stopper. Okay, so now that you're done um, sewing this part, what I did was to fill up bags. So I have like snack bags. Um, I did one cup of sand for mine but this is because i did the thicker one the heavier one so you might if you're doing the thinner one you might want to use um half a cup okay half a cup of sand and once you have it tight it make sure that you take all the air out and that you kind of even it out because it's going to you know be forming like your little snake now what i did i protected it, I folded it in, and I protected it with um, with plastic wrap. You can do one long snake, but I found that a little bit harder. Let me move this out here so you can actually see. So I just wrapped it. Yeah. Just fold it and wrap it so that you don't want any sand spilling from your belt. So those will just protect. So I did several of this. Um, you can do, as I said, you can do a long snake and just put all your sand, your little bags like beside each other and make a long tube like this, right? With the, with the um, sand, with the, sorry, with the plastic wrap. But I personally rather for some reason just keep them separate. And once you're done with that, you are just going to put them inside your belt. That's it. Just start bringing them in. Make sure that it's like, it has some space. You don't want it super tight because once you wrap it around your waist, if it's very tight, it's not going to um, wrap around nicely and it's gonna hurt your hip. So just let it go all in and you should have this part free as I told you to wrap it. So you're gonna continue doing and filling up um, all. I use nine for mine, but you just use, remember that you're leaving some space at the end. You have to leave enough space to sew it back, right? So let's pretend this is your end. You gotta leave enough space because you're going to put this part back into, into the machine. Okay, so fill it all up um, until about, let's say, 10 inches. And then we're going to sew it here. Seven inches, actually, we're going to sew in seven inches. Okay, once you have it all full, you're gonna measure this other end, okay? Seven inches so that you can sew across. Actually do seven and a half because you also wanna leave the end, you know, this part, once you fold it in for the end. So you don't wanna rub from the part that you're going to tighten your belt. So do seven and a half inches. Uh, measuring from and to from the end to in right seven inches seven and a half sorry seven and a half and just go across
Okay, now that you're done sewing this part, this is the end of your belt. I fold it in. Fold it in about, about half an inch so that you have your ending nice. And I like to iron it because I want it to be well done. So just press it down and iron it before you actually sew the ends, the end of it, okay? I just like it to be nice and flat. So now you can do the last sewing, which will be just to close, just to close this end.